Hi, Ellis. Hi. Hi, Winnie. Hi. Where are you guys going? To Pops' house for the whole day. Mm -hmm. I need to lower your headrest on your car seat, Winnie. Um, no. For the whole day? Will you put your seatbelt over your shoulder a little better, buddy? No, yeah, tuck it back in. No, no, tuck your arm in. And then put it, yeah, on top of your shoulder. Like this? Yeah. Um, are you guys excited to go to Gammy and Pops' house? Yeah, I'm excited to go there for the whole day. Yeah! It's yeah. There's, um, a bag of activities for you guys to do while you're there. Do you know where I'm going? To the doctor's. Yeah, what am I getting? To get your scans. Yeah. I'll miss you guys. I miss you too, Mom. Miss you Aww. Too. Hey guys, we are on our way to City of Hope. I am going for an appointment with my pulmonologist, a brain MRI, and my CT scan of my chest and pelvic area. We are looking to see if there's any more cancer or just that it's the same as of what we know already, which that's what we're hoping and praying for. Um, we're a little nervous, but we're doing okay, right? Yep, we're doing okay. I'm in appointment mode where I'm just thinking of what's my, what times my, my appointments are. And, um, the rules that I have to follow, like fasting and whatnot. So that's good, it keeps me distracted. I have my little pillow that my grandma Evans sent me when I was diagnosed that I keep in the car. Um, I kept it in the car all during treatment last year and now I'll keep it in the car this year during treatment. And um, when I don't feel good after chemo, it's nice to cuddle up on it. I've got facial tissues because I might cry on the way home, who knows. Um, anything else? That's, that's about it. That's it, let's do it. Let's go. Oh, and thank you for everyone who has sent me a message or a text um, wishing me well or telling me they're thinking of me. It really it means a lot to me, thank you. I am out of the CT scan and brain MRI. They went okay. Um, my last brain MRI at City of Hope had headphones with music. This one did not. So that was a bummer, but it was okay. Um, I started to panic a little bit when it started. I didn't tell you. Um, but I did some breathing techniques and that helped me calm down. Um, I'm feeling sad, a little down. I don't like that I have cancer. I don't like doing brain MRIs. I don't like the drink for the CT scans. I'm just feeling a little down, but I'm sure I'll cheer up. And get there. I hope. I hope you. <laughs> um, that's just a bummer to be in this situation. But it's okay. One day at a time. Yeah. All right, so we are on our way home from my appointments, my scans, and Rosmig called me. He's the NP to my oncologist, and he said that they found four lesions in my brain, tiny, um, but it's cancer, and there's cancer in my brain. So I have an appointment with. Dr. Amini, my radiation oncologist, tomorrow, so we can come up with a radiation plan. And uh, radiation will hopefully get rid of it. And I believe that the lung chemo and all that stuff is still going to plan, but I also have an appointment with Dr. Salgia tomorrow to make sure that we know what's going on. Um, this is really bad 
news, you know. My first thought is the kids. I don't I don't know what to tell them. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to tell them till I know more. But I just you know, I wanna be honest with them on this journey because if worst case scenario ever happens, I don't want it to come out of nowhere and you know you know what I mean? Yeah. Versus if yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna wait. But I'm sad. I'm really sad. I don't get why I have cancer. I don't get it. I don't understand why I have cancer. I take good care of myself. I don't get it. I don't get it, babe. I don't get it. Rosmig said, don't think that this is the end. It's not the end. So I'm gonna hold on to that. And I'm gonna fight as hard as ever, you know. There's nothing slowing me down. Um, I just can't believe it. Good morning, everyone. It's 5.30 in the morning, and my dad and I are headed, oh, you can't even see you. <laughs> Literally, somewhere. <laughs> We're headed to City of Hope for my PET scan. We are home from my appointments at City of Hope. I had my PET scan. I started to panic a little bit in that, mm -hmm. but I calmed myself down, mm -hmm. and then I saw Dr. Salgia and Rosmig, my NP, and they were very helpful and informative, and I saw Dr. Amini, my radiation oncologist. So we're still waiting on the report from the PET scan and CT scan. But we do know that the cancer definitely has spread to my lining of my left lung, which is the same lung that had cancer before. It has five spots in my brain. There was a fifth spot. Oh, they, you don't really know. There were, last night they said four spots, but today they said five spots in my brain. <clears throat> and there is a lymph node that is affected as well but that these results can change um based off of the scan results we're not sure if there's more cancer elsewhere we will find out um the plan is to still tar start chemo on march 9th is that right mm -hmm. and that's next week and then I start brain radiation on 18th. the 18th. And that will be three sessions of radiation, targeted radiation on my brain. And it has high success rates. I think they said 95% success rates of killing the cancer that way in my brain, so that's good. And what else am I missing? We just start our next round of treatments next week. Mm -hmm. Got a lot coming up next week. Yeah. I'm sad and I'm scared. And my biggest concern is my babies. I don't want them to I don't want them to have to live life without a mom. And I mean, this isn't the end. You know, this isn't the end. My team has said that this isn't the end. 
but it's not good. And the cancer being in my lining of my lung makes sense with how much pain I've been in lately. The increased pain, it's been ever since that one time I slept weird before my pulmonary function test. It's been worse ever since then. And um, it makes sense why I'm in extra pain, I guess. Today and yesterday have been tough to swallow. <laughs> tough to talk about. But we're gonna keep doing what we've been doing the whole time. And let's just take it day by day. Yep. But this one hurts. I'll try to give updates when I can. Right now I'm really struggling mentally. Um, so as I can update you guys, I will. But it might take me a bit to grasp all of this because it's hard. Flower, what are you doing to me? Flower? <laughs> what are you doing to mommy? She's pushing with all of her might. <laughs> Flower, what are you... What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. We're just scared. Very scared. But it doesn't change our fighting plan and what we're going to do. Yep, I'm going to keep fighting as hard as ever. I'm going to stay positive. I'm just really sad right now. I'm trying to process what's going on. I love you. I love you. Thanks for the love and support. It means so much to us. Continued positive thoughts and prayers would mean so much to us as well. Thanks everyone. Bye.